Hey everyone, Stephen here, and in today's video I thought I would take you through a week in the life of being a magician and a host. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. So I thought I would take you through my week and let you see exactly what I'm getting up to. It's a fun week ahead and I'm going to take you along on the road with me. Today I am off to a wedding of Hayley and Sean which will be held at the Gales Hotel. And as well as doing magic I am hosting the speeches and the meal. So we do have a lot to prepare for this so I'm going to jump into the office and I'm going to get my paperwork ready. A few moments later. Alright so that's me got everything that I need and I've put it into this wee folder and basically I'll just run through what I've got. I've got a nine years mystery which lives in there anyway and then I've got some cue cards with my script, some cards and my paperwork. Now I've printed off uh, copies of the paperwork for the hotel as well, so we're all just really reading from the same same hymn sheet, so to speak. During the week I did do some prep, I did uh, basically made up some buns a lot, made up some of these. I'm going to give you a little teaser of something that's coming soon. That's all you're getting. So yeah, I've got the paperwork, so it is now time to load the car. Now one of the things about being a host is you don't just turn up with a close-up bag, you've got to take your PA, your mic, your speaker and all that, so um, I'm going to go load the car. So that is the car now packed and it is time to head off to the hotel. The thing about being a wedding host, as I said, is you do have a lot more equipment. Um, you'll notice I put a wee sheet down, protect the car, um, make sure my seats don't get ruined. But we're about half an hour away, so we're going to head over to the venue, so let's go. <laughs> So that's me all set up. I've been inside, said hi to the wedding coordinator, and she was really excited to hear that I was going to be hosting the speeches, which was great. So I'm all set up, so now it is really just saying hi to people as they arrive, and then when the ceremony's on, I'll then basically go ahead and get set up as if it's a magic gig. So I'll perform some magic, and then it's into hosting mode where I'll introduce the couple into a room, and hopefully you'll get the opportunity to see that. So I'm just going to chill out, I'm going to go inside, Speak to wedding coordinator, make sure that we're singing from the same hymn sheet as I said earlier, and then we'll go from there. So that is the gig done. Um, I have to say it was a really, really good gig. Um, everybody was really loving the close-up magic, which, you know, it makes it a little bit easier when everybody's having a good time. Just came home and I've had a wee delivery of a few things. I've just got this. This is Overdraft by Paul Fowler. It's something I've been looking at getting for a while and then Paul had a wee sale on, on his website. It was like 40% off and I just couldn't say no to it. So. This is something I'm definitely going to do. I've got a few video ideas as well that I do with it. So keep a wee eye out for this. I'll maybe post a review if you're interested. Leave a wee comment down below. As well as that, I got some double face cards delivered. This is part of another order, so they've arrived today. But the thing that I'm really looking forward to are these. So these are my different packages that I offer. So here's the Magic Only. Here's the... Uh, all day. I've also got the half day one already, which I ordered as a sample. So I ordered the half day one first, just to see how it would turn out, and I was quite happy. So I've then uh, got the graphics done for the other packages as well. So they'll definitely be on the wedding stand on Sunday, and that brings me to what's up next. So up next, we have uh, just I'm back in the office after the wedding, and I'm going to do some preparations. So. 
I've got to refill my case, reset everything. There's things that need refilled, you know, like there's expendables and stuff like that. So I've got to go in, just make sure everything's all topped up. And then I'm going to have a wee night just chilling myself. So it should be fun. Tomorrow. Good morning. All right, it's the next day and today is the 13th of July. Yesterday's gig was a really fun one. I've woke up this morning to some nice feedback, which you'll see on the screen. So I've woke up, I've had my breakfast and... I Whilst I've done that, I sat and watched the Smackdown highlights on my phone. Um, it's getting really good. Smackdown's getting really good. As you'll probably see, I'm a big wrestling fan. So, uh, Smackdown's getting really exciting at the moment. Can't wait to see what happens with the bloodline. And when Roman Reigns comes back and The Rock. Today we have another magic gig. Today I am off to the Torrens Hotel to perform some close-up magic at the drinks reception of a wedding. The drinks reception won't start till about half two and it only takes just under half an hour to get there. So I don't think there's going to be much to document this morning. So I will see you in the car en route to the gig. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So there we are, we have now arrived here at Torrance. Um, I'm a little bit earlier than I expected, so that's good. I'm just going to hang about, wait a little bit, then head in, get changed, and get ready. So it's been it's been a good morning, just kind of chilled out, watched Smackdown, and just kind of, just, you know, just hung about and got ready at a nice casual, nice casual slow pace. So there's no stress today. I'm here, I'm early, there's guests already arriving. Loving the dream, mate. Loving the dream. What? Day three. Good morning, and we are already on the go. It is about half eight at the moment, and I've already loaded the car up. Yesterday's wedding was really good. It started off a bit weirder, though. Uh, there was nobody really coming into the function room. There was nobody really outside. I don't know where people went, and then suddenly there was people. So it um, went really well. Brian and Groom were really happy, which was great. But as I said, we're up early this morning because we are hosting a wedding show. So as well as being an exhibitor with a stand trying to sell my services, I also am going to host the entertainment showcase that's taking place. So I'm going to do a little bit of magic, I'm going to warm the room up and then introduce each of the performers. So that should be really fun. So I've got everything from a stand, which you'll see, and also I've got everything like my PA, my speaker, eh, my PA, my microphones, all that jazz. But first, I'm going to get some fuel in me. I need some energy juice and I'm going to get myself a little meal deal as well. I'm quite tired, so I need that little pick-me-up. So I'll grab a wee can of Monster, Rockstar, Red Bull, something like that. And it'll just give me that little boost of energy in the middle of the day. 20 minutes later. There we go. We have some energy. So let's get cracking and get on the road. So we have arrived at the wedding show. The stand's almost set up. However, I forgot batteries. So I'm currently walking around Greenock, trying to find batteries. Uh, I'm going to b and to try and get some triple A. Now it's a Sunday, so it might not be open. So, just shows being prepared. No matter how prepared you are, things can still go wrong. But I believe there's a B and M just over here. So, somewhere. So we'll uh, find out and we'll get the stand all up and running. Batteries acquired. I even got some double A for my microphones as well, because I keep saying to myself, I really need to Really need to get some double A batteries and just so I've got extra. So kill two birds with one stone. Wee bonus. Go ahead back over to the venue and we're gonna get set up. That's us all set up. We have the PA system all set up upstairs for the performer showcase that's going to take place at one o'clock. And uh, I've got a stand set up down the stair and also just got my suit, just got to put my suit on and then get my tricks ready and we're ready to go. Gonna be a fun day. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but I've had my energy drink, which is good. I've also got a little sandwich, probably the most expensive sandwich that I've ever had. Cost me about seven pound for that in uh, the juice, but yeah, rock and roll. Singing the song, singing this 
Everybody has got a stand downstairs. There's a big variety of entertainment there, and hopefully, you, you'll find the right one for your big day. So, that is today's wedding fair now completed, and uh, I'm packed up, everything's in the car, and it's now time to relax. It's been a long week. So, it's been a bit of a long week, so I'm now going to just chill out. Um, I'm currently here in Glasgow city centre, and I'm off to have some food and just spend the night just doing nice social things. <laughs> And there we go, that is the week done. Really good week and some really, really good gigs. The first hosting gig, really good, really smashed it, really enjoyed it. The second gig was really good. As I said, it started off a little bit strange. Once I really got into the flow of things, people were loving it. And then hosting the wedding fair. Now the wedding fair was productive. So the wedding fair was productive, really, really good. And it is now Wednesday and I've had two inquiries and that's good news. I never thought I'd get two inquiries, so it's really good. A lot of people never had dates uh, booked yet. They were just seeing what was available. And the fact they got two was really good. With wedding fairs, I really don't take hundreds of bookings on the day. It's more long term, so I'm looking forward to see what else I can get from that. So that is the video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what a magician or host gets up to over the weekend. Let me know what you got up to at the weekend. Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a wee thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Switch notification bell on because every time I post a video, you'll be notified. I'll see you in the next one.